Hi Bells, it's Sarah Stanford here with your BBT. So what I want to talk about today is some a particular issue that a lot of brides have or seem to have when they come to the store. And part of my job here at Bliss is not only to find you the perfect dress, but also to help to educate you along the way. So today we have our beautiful model here, Kirsty, who some of you may recognize from coming to the store. I put her in a gorgeous Pronovia's gown strapless gown with uh, lace applique with quite a bit of ruching and a really nice flirtatious uh, ruffly skirt. So what I want to show you is a lot of times when girls come to fit, they say to me, Sarah, can't we do anything about this little crease that comes across the, 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 the hip of the gown, right? And nine times out of 10, the answer is no. And let me explain to you why. As women and as human beings, our bodies bend. We need to move, we need to bend, we need to be comfortable. If you notice where this crease is happening is right, you know, where her, her hip and her legs join. And so that's where the natural bend in the body happens. So you're going to get that kind of a crease just in terms of walking. I always say to my brides, listen, you, you're going to look gorgeous on your wedding day, but the goal is not to look like what we call a China doll, stiff with no movement and no fluidity to you. You're a woman, you're curvy, you're gorgeous. So there's going to be a little bit of fluidity to your body, right? And so the garment has to adjust for that. So sometimes ladies will say to me, well, can't you just take in the hips a little bit more? In this particular dress I'm cursing, there really is not much room to take in the hips. But oftentimes, 99% of the time, if we were to try and take in the hips, all that's going to do is create more creasing and more bulging that we don't want. So we actually do want it to be not loose, but a little bit, you know, comfortably fitting. So when it falls on her, it falls nicely. And then when she sits and when she bends and moves, she has that room to do that. If that dress is what we call suck on, I mean, if it's suck on too, too tight, you're not going to be able to move and you're going to look like you were stuffed in the gown. And that's the last thing we want. We want you to look sexy and nicely fitted in the gown, but not stuffed in the gown. Okay? So just keep that in mind. And also, when you walk down the aisle, 90% of the time, the proper way to hold the bouquet is right here right you know between your, your pelvis area and your belly button so if you're concerned about it the bouquet will hide that 90 percent of the times also i advise you if you don't believe me go watch say yes to the dress for example and watch as the brides come out and look and see that all of them have this little crease and often oftentimes if it's a concern for you when you're doing your pictures and you're talking to your photographer before the fact tell them that that's something you're concerned about and they can easily retouch it in you know some of some of the pictures because that's what happens in all of the catalog pictures and the pictures of beautiful brides that you see the that area it's there trust me when i tell you it's there more than likely it was just retouched okay so before i finish i want to give you one other little tip to show you how to sit in a wedding gown all right so kirsty i'm going to ask you to come over here excuse the pins on the back all right so when it is that you sit in a wedding gown i don't want you to just plop down like you would if you're wearing a jeans and a t-shirt okay when you sit in a wedding gown we need to shimmy it up a little bit on the hips right to give you that room i need you to turn to the side and i need you to sit down see it's a nice dainty little sit it's your wedding day it's a day for you to feel like a princess so you should sit like a princess and look like a princess the entire time okay so this is, yeah, this is the way it is done. If you, you know, practice it a couple of nights before the wedding so you'll have it perfectly um, done and you look absolutely gorgeous on your wedding day. All right, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And as always, make it blissful.